carne asada. Let's do this thing. Nice hot grill, all seasoned, ready to go. Sizzle on there. Wish you could smell it. Oh. Awesome. Okay, well just a few more minutes and these will all be done. Just a few little pieces here. My camera shut off because it overheated a little bit ago. I don't know why that would be. It's only like 100 degrees out here. And I'm cooking over a fire that's like a million degrees. Anyway, it did. I stuck it in the freezer for a little bit. It seemed to have recovered. So we'll see if it makes it through the rest of the shoot here. Anyway, you don't have to worry too much about carne asada drying out or anything. It always seems to retain its juices, I guess because of the spices. Um, you do want it to be good and, good and firm when you take it off. I went ahead and let this marinate for three days instead of two. Just thought I hadn't tried that. It tends to be a cut, or a tough cut of meat. This is actually a bottom round. A lot of times it's flank. But either one of them can be pretty tough. I like the bottom round because it tends to be a little more lean. Like me. <laughs> the griddle does get to get really, really dirty. Uh, it doesn't spoil cooking at all. And, and I'll just leave it on here. I'll give it a good scrub, but it'll It'll come off, clean up, and I'll re-season it again, and it'll be good as new. That looks very tender. So good. The recipe is in the video description. Like it if you like it. Try it. Let me know. I'm choking on a pepper. <coughs> it looks very good. I like mine spicy. All right. I think we're done. Good.